don't test kids and then pick them. Uh, really what happens is kids pick us. It starts with the roll of the dice, a number that is called that can change a life. Number 32. Yes! <laughs> if what we are providing seems appealing to them, then they apply, and we literally take their names, put them in a hat, and pick them out in a lot. Welcome to the Seed School, the first of its kind, an urban public boarding school that is transforming the lives of our inner city children. Every child has equal access to the Seed School. We are not pre-qualifying them based on their academic ability or their artistic ability or their athletic ability or anything else. We're taking kids and they come in with a range of abilities and some of them are behind and some of them aren't and our job is to get them ready for college no matter where they come in we get them ready for college that's our job this idea began with a question why aren't there boarding schools why aren't there schools that provide a 24-hour environment for children and can ensure them that they'll get the e-teaching that they need that they'll get the role models that they will be in a culture that demands that they be prepared to go to college. It was a question that two people were asking, Eric Adler and Rajiv Venakota, each pursuing their own idea of helping kids find their way to a different future, a way out through education. And it was that idea that I took with me for the next three years until finally I took a leave of absence and traveled all over the country to talk to educators, to public policy leaders, to spend time in different cities, really trying to find out, could this idea be done? It was a leap of faith, following their sense of mission to help those who needed it most, our children at risk in the inner city. The cry of the city, like a siren song, wailing over the rooftops the whole night long. I spent eight years teaching high school physics at a prep school outside of Baltimore, and I had really learned the power of what a college prep education could do. And I began to ask myself, what do we need to do to really make this work? And I came to the conclusion that what was needed was a college prep boarding school for these urban kids. Planting the beginnings of a new vision of inner city public education took determination to change the way society looks at educating its young. There's a population of kids out there who need support 24 hours a day if they're gonna get the education that they need and deserve and people understand that. This isn't an issue of black kids, brown kids, white kids. This is an issue of serving poor children and their families and giving them the opportunities that I know both of us took for granted growing up. Understanding of parts per million. The other part is that we have to prove that there's a whole group of kids out there that society has been writing off because it, it sort of hasn't known what to do to educate those kids. And that's just plain wrong. We do know what to do. It's a little bit expensive, but we know what to do. And we, we, we need to prove that it works and demonstrate that we have an obligation to do what we need to do to provide these kids with the education that they're entitled to. I think we all know that statistically, um, the odds are stacked against urban kids. Here in Washington, D.C., uh, we graduate only just about exactly 50% of children from high school. Um, so half of, of our city is, is walking around without a high school diploma. Those are statistics that we have got to change. Change begins with creating an environment where students can feel safe, where education is the goal, and college is the answer to a successful future. I work with all grade levels, grades 7 through 12, and it's really a um, college readiness program, pretty much from the beginning, um, giving students the tools that they need, not just to prepare themselves for college, but prepare themselves mentally for, um, for what college holds and for how they can position themselves well to be successful in life after SEED, and to really just kind of envision college as something that um, they think is accessible to them and that they can be successful there. Being a college preparatory school means creating a world where everyone is pursuing the same goal, 
that a community is formed that unifies around that idea that every one of these students can graduate and go on to college. So really when they get here, it's all about getting themselves acclimated. And it's really about getting themselves to uh, see themselves here at SEED since it's a long-term commitment. And we want them to be comfortable, um, to understand how things work here at a boarding school, not just a school, but also at a boarding school and what the expectations are of students. Gerard, how are you feeling today? Good to see you. How's your room looking? We're going to show a lesson in cleaning up. So my message to students coming in is, um, you know, we're here, you have a lot of people that are on your team and to work as a support network, that we're going to work together with you to bring out your best. The process starts right from the beginning, with a new class of seventh graders being honored for their commitment to the program and to celebrate their new beginnings at the Seed School. And it is in partnership with these parents that SEED has forged its strongest bonds. We really see ourselves as working with parents to raise children. We really view it as a partnership. I would say that SEED has been the best opportunity as far as education and life experience that I have seen. When I hear about a lot of the stuff that had happened in D.C. Public School opposed to C, it just makes me just thank God even more for what C brought forth into our city. It was like a prayer that was answered. When people uh, hear boarding school, I think a lot of times what they think of is separating children from families. And in a lot of boarding schools, that's what's happening because they're being physically separated. But at the Seed School, we've specifically put the school in the city where these children come from so that they will be close to their families. Because what we really want to do is we want to strengthen families, we want families involved in the raising of their children, and we want children to be involved with their families at every age so that as they grow into adults, they remain close with their families. It's not like they just go to school. They are a family. And I mean, from the seventh grade through the twelfth grade, these kids grew up together. And they grew up with the, the administrators and the staff, so it's like a mother and a father away from home. They love our children just as well as we do. Okay, I'll, I'll see you girls in the morning, okay? If there is one thread that unites so many of these families, it is this. There is no stronger pull than a mother's heart. And so many of Seed's families were willing to fight to ensure their children's futures. I was going to do everything I could to make sure that it happened for him. Warren E. Dixon. I saw him successful, you know. I've always seen him successful, no matter what. What I hoped for my kids was that they learn to go farther in their lives than I've gone and learn to be happy with themselves and that throughout their lifetime they attain their goals they learn to be better people. See, it just meant uh, a lot to me. Um, they gave me hope, a great possibility. 